hi guys welcome to my channel today i wanted to share with you the best recipe you've ever had when it comes to keto you don't have to suffer when you are on a keto diet so today i'm going to show you one of the recipes you can do that tastes absolutely amazing this is super flavorful when i tell you flavorful i mean flavorful i'm all about flavorful we are making cauliflower lasagna and would you look just look how amazing this looks and i guarantee you the taste is even more amazing the taste is unbelievably amazing come with me on this cooking vlog and you are going to be amazed just look you can see the cheese you can see the cauliflower and the chicken so let me just stop saying too much and i want you to come with me sit back relax you know, grab a glass of wine and enjoy this cooking vlog you are going to be amazed i guarantee you come with me everyone Ladin Bungu here welcome to my channel so today i wanted to share a recipe with you that i believe you are going to absolutely enjoy especially that this is uh, a keto recipe but it's so flavorful my channel is all about flavor i believe that food should not only look good but it has to taste absolutely amazing I mean, I'd rather have food that tastes amazing rather than food that looks good. But once you put it in your mouth, you're like, what is this? So today we are going to be making cauliflower lasagna. Okay. So the only ingredients we are going to be needing, um, it's not going to be a lot, but it's going to be so flavorful. So what we have here, we have a red and a green bell pepper. I have my cauliflower that I have absolutely washed really, really good. I have uh, two garlics. I have a green onion right there. And I have, um, also I have tomato sauce. I'm going to lift this so you can see it, okay? We are going to use a couple of um, tablespoons of uh, tomato sauce. And we have other little ingredients like salt, uh, nutmeg, stuff like that. We are going to be adding as we go, okay? So I'm also going to be using butter, okay? I have my, um, my butter here, okay? So we are going to be using a little bit of that. We also are going to be using some shredded cheese. And um, yeah, that's it. So not a lot of ingredients, but... You have noticed that my ingredients are mostly natural ingredients and uh, I try to go organic, okay? And we are going to be putting chicken, um, chicken breast in our lasagna. So this is already cooked, okay? It's, you know, coming from the store already cooked, but we are going to be enhancing the flavor like we always do. It's all about flavor, okay? So I'm going to be enhancing the flavor of the chicken. So let's get started. All right, guys. So bringing my um, a frying pan into the stove, I'm going to be turning my uh, heat, not very high, so medium. Okay, so the first thing we are going to be doing is uh, we are going to be cooking the chicken. Okay, well, the chicken is already cooked. We are going to be enhancing the flavor. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of olive oil. Okay, a little bit of olive oil. So I don't have the measurements, but you can see how much I have. It's not a lot. Okay, so what we are going to, or what we are trying to do is uh, basically enhancing the flavor of the chicken so just uh putting it in the in the heat or in the fire for a little bit until it becomes a little bit golden and a little bit crispy okay so so i have my uh chicken here my chicken breast so now my oil it's a little bit uh, has heated up so i'm going to be putting the chicken in there Okay, and adding 
a little bit of salt so you have to pinch of salt okay just like you see in the video not a lot and then i'm going to be adding a little bit of nutmeg just a pinch and we are going to be mixing everything together until it becomes it has like a golden color we are simply enhancing the flavor of the chicken okay simply enhancing the flavor and we are going to be using this chicken in our lasagna recipe and i'm going to show you up close i'll show you the, how the chicken looks how i want it to look okay let me just turn on the there you go you can see how it's looking already okay but we want it to be golden okay this is exactly how we want our chicken to be okay so like that it's golden it's nice and and we are going to be setting that aside so now we are going to be starting with the color flower. okay so i have my color flower here i don't know if i'm saying it right i think it's cauliflower 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 i'm gonna say cauliflower don't mind me please okay I have my cauliflower here so what you want to do is basically cut them off in small pieces okay so we're, we're just going to make them kind of smashing them but we want them to to not have some big huge chunks okay so we want them to be um to have a little you know just small pieces so just like that we are going to be chopping our cauliflower so this is going to represent the pasta you know it's going to be like the pasta for the for the lasagna <laughs> because this is this is a keto recipe so no carbs you know no carbs that our cauliflower is nice and smashed in small pieces the next step is we are going to be using a blender we are going to be blending the red and the green bell pepper and also our garlic garlics we are going to blend them together so that we can start our sauce our very very flavorful sauce and you are going to see the way i do it i love flavor like i love adding flavor to food because when you have food you should be enjoying it food should be enjoyable okay you should be enjoying your food you cannot be eating food and you're like why is it tasting like cardboard yes i have had food before i'm eating it and i'm like what is this am i eating some foam or am i eating some cardboard so with me it's all about flavor all right so the next step let's go ahead and put these babies in the blender i absolutely hate the blender noise the noise that the blender makes i can't stand it okay <laughs> if you know a blender that doesn't make any noise please let me know please let me know in the comments because i need one but even the most expensive blender they always have to make the noise and i absolutely okay can't. so in my blender i have some um i have the green and red bell pepper and garlic that i'm going to be mixing together my blender is very old it's very clean but it's old so don't mind all of those little things that you see so i'm going to go ahead and blend everything and um i i absolutely hate so i have to hold on to this let me see there <laughs> I can't stand the noise <laughs> i can't stand it but this is what we wanted okay so now it's nicely blended and we are going to be beginning the fun part is beginning the sauce okay all right guys so what i'm going to do now is uh, on a medium heat i'm going to be putting about 
four tablespoons of butter. Medium heat. Okay, so right there we are going to let it melt, of course, and then we are going to be adding the mix that we have done, the bell peppers, and uh, also about four tablespoons of uh, tomato sauce. Adding our all right so before we add everything else the first step we have to do is add uh, remember we had onions and uh, one green onion so I had about a quarter size of a medium onion so you only have about a quarter size of it and then you have one green onion that we are going to be adding to our melted butter okay so what you want to do is you want to fry this until your onions turn uh, they turn a little bit kind of brownish on the on the edges so until it becomes a little bit brown and I'll show you once it happens okay so this is what we have so far so once it becomes a little bit um brownish then we are going to be adding four tablespoons of tomato sauce that i have right here okay so this is exactly what i mean you can see that it's a little bit brown and at this point we are going to be adding four tablespoons of our uh, tomato sauce okay so we have one, two, three, and four, okay? So that's good. And we are going to be mixing everything together. And um, turn your, your, your fire or the heat to low at this point. Because we don't want it to burn, okay? So you have to keep on mixing and don't let it burn. If you notice that it's starting to stick a little bit to the uh, frying pan, you can add a little bit of water to it. But we want to make sure that um, we fry them together for about five to seven minutes. And remember that add a little bit of water if you feel that it's sticking a little bit to the, to the pot. After about three minutes, I'm adding a little bit of water just so my sauce doesn't burn. Just like that, okay? So we are going to be cooking this for about um, four more minutes and then we are going to be adding our mixture. You know of the the bell pepper that we have done earlier the smell is amazing i mean i wish that i could let you guys smell it through the phone you know or smell it through the camera so however you can if you make the recipe once you make it you can definitely smell it it smells divine it smells so super super good it smells good and you know it's gonna taste good all right guys so it's been about seven minutes and now we are ready to be adding our bell peppers and garlics yummy all right so what's gonna happen now we also are going to let them cook or let it cook for about for an additional seven to ten minutes okay so but either way if you go for seven minutes it's fine we just have to let them cook and i'm going to basically leave it alone for about three minutes okay 
and then after three minutes we are going to be adding a little bit of water just a little bit of water again and then let it cook for an additional about five minutes and then we are going to start the most exciting part because we're getting closer to the end okay we are going getting closer to the end and you are absolutely going to be loving this okay we are going to leave it alone for about three minutes all right lovely people so it's been about 10 minutes since we have mixed um, everything, uh, our bell peppers, our tomato sauce, our you know onions, everything I've showed you earlier. So now it is time to put our cauliflowers, okay? So we are going to be putting the cauliflowers in the pot so they can all cook together, okay? So we are going to let them cook for about 20 minutes, okay? Or until you feel that your cauliflower is soft, but it takes about 20 minutes. And we are going to be adding some more little ingredients. Uh, I'm going to show, show it to you in a minute. Okay, see this is up close. Doesn't that look good? Okay, this looks super amazing and the taste is even the well once it's done the taste is amazing but the smell oh boy the smell is amazing so i have this on a low um on a low heat okay and i'm just trying to mix them together just mix everything together and in about two minutes we are going to be adding water about one glass of water because we are going to let it sit for about 20 minutes okay but first let's put more ingredients because we don't really have salt yet so we do have to add salt always start with let's say one tablespoon of salt and then you are going to try it okay you're gonna taste a little bit and see if that's what you like if you want more salt then you can add a little bit more but always start with one tablespoon of salt, okay? I have my salt here that I'm going to be adding, okay? This is about um, a, table, a table and a half spoon of salt because I know how my salt is. I, I, I know the measurement, so uh, depending on how much, you know, depending on the quantity. And this was an entire uh, cauliflower cauliflower oh lord this was an entire cauliflower <laughs> that I, I i'm cooking oh my gosh tastes so good smells so good but um next let's go ahead and add um some ginger root powder a little bit you know just a pinch you don't have to but this enhances the flavor so, and I love ginger root, so I'm definitely going to be adding it a little bit. And we are going to be adding a little bit of nutmeg also. A bit of nutmeg we are going to be adding. Don't add too much, okay? Just a little bit of nutmeg because it's very strong. You don't want it to be overly flavorful. We want, we want it to be flavorful the right way. We don't want to exaggerate, okay? So don't, don't do too much. And have you noticed that I haven't even added any water yet? And it's been more than two minutes. It's been about three minutes now. And uh, the cauliflower is getting soft already. It's soft, softening up already. Let me, let me show it to you closer how good this looks. You see that? Looks very good and it's amazing. The taste is amazing. Okay. So now that we have added everything we needed, what we are going to do is add one glass of water and we are going to let it cook for about 20 minutes. All right, my lovely people. So it's been about 20 minutes and this is exactly what we wanted. This is exactly what we want. So this is perfect. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
So this is exactly what we were going for. So now we are about to start my most favorite part, okay? So now we're about to bake it and I'm gonna turn my fire off because this is absolutely ready. It's soft and it's nice, it tastes good. The salt is perfectly done. And I wanted to remind you of something the butter that I've added, you know butter has salt, okay? Some butter has uh, um, have salt. So the butter that I used was unsalted butter. So, and this is why I had a little bit more salt on my food. So you have to be mindful. If your butter has salt, you know, it's salted butter, you have to be careful with the salt. So just to be on the safe side, please start with maybe one um, coffee spoon of salt because cauliflower absorbs salt a lot, okay? I know exactly my exactly my measurement and my cauliflower was a huge. It was really, 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 real, real big. It doesn't look like that on the video, but it was absolutely huge, okay? So to be on the safe side, start with a coffee spoon of salt if you are not satisfied as you cook then you can add a little bit more and be mindful of your butter we also are going to be using cheese because we're, we're making lasagna so be mindful cheese also has a little bit of salt okay you can taste the salt in cheese let's get started with our baking process the most exciting part we're almost at the end of the video we're almost at the end of the recipe so after of course of course, washing your hands is real good, you know, washing hands always before cooking and stuff. We should know that already, right? So, what I have done is, uh, what I'm going to do now is preheat my oven. I'm going to put it at 350 degrees and we are going to be baking so we can make our lasagna. Uh, and it takes about 20 minutes because everything is already cooked. We just, we want to get a little bit of that meltiness with, you know, with the cheese and everything and our chicken. Remember, we, we've made chicken earlier. We are going to put it in the lasagna. So until once we put the, the cheese, you know, one layer of cheese on top of everything, it takes about 20 minutes or so, depending on the power of your oven as well. Okay. Because if your oven is, um, your oven is really really it's, you know, very high then you may only need about 10 to um, 10 to um, 15 minutes so until you are satisfied you know the cheese is crispy the way you like it then you can take it out but we're almost done pretty much so I have put one layer of cheese and I'm going to be putting um, a little bit of my chicken Remember the chicken we have done, oopsie, the chicken we've done earlier, okay, so I'm going to be putting a little bit of chicken, and this is optional, if you don't want it, you, you don't have to, but you know, I, I, it tastes so good with the chicken, and then we are going to be putting our sauce, okay, so this is like the pasta for this keto, recipe so we are going to be putting our sauce there and you are going to be doing the same thing okay so you are again going to be putting a layer of the cheese again okay so i try not to do a lot of cheese because that's what i do you know, i don't i like cheese i love cheese of course but too much of everything, it's not good, okay? Especially when you're trying to kind of, you're trying to lose weight, you know, you're trying to lose weight, you don't wanna, uh, you don't wanna do too much, okay? And I'll be adding again the chicken, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna be adding more chicken. And, oh, this is so good. This is so good. I'm going to show it to you closer so you can see what? all right my lovely people so i'm bringing you up close so you can see exactly what happened what's happening in here so i have put layers of cheese layers of chicken layers of our 
very flavorful sauce and and then the last layer you want to put is cheese again on top and you can put a lot of cheese if you like to have a lot of cheese uh, just to cover up the the top layer and then we are going to be baking it okay all right so this is what we have so what what we are going to do now is put it in the oven so this can bake and then uh, we will be enjoying in a moment all right so we are going to be putting it in the oven to bake and we will be enjoying here in a very short moment yum yum all right guys so the food is ready and uh i'm going to bring the camera closer so you can see i mean just the way this looks looks amazing the smell oh my god like if someone came to your house and smelled this food i am not even exaggerating you try it try it and you are going to thank me guys okay look at this look at this okay now you tell me you tell me is this amazing or what okay this is not pasta this is not like this is cauliflower guys oh my gosh let me grab a plate this is my plate <laughs> okay so oh uh, which side should i let's go oh my <gasps> yes mm, 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 mm. so hot too oh my gosh so cheesy yes guys this is absolutely amazing okay mm, it is time to enjoy it's time to enjoy Alright guys, it is time for me to enjoy my plate and I'm telling you the smell before you have a bite. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So cheesy. It's amazing. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. So this is and you know the best part of it for people that love doing um keto this is keto so it's really good mm. if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel don't be greedy share the video okay share it because if you have loved it i'm pretty sure your friends going to love it too okay so i'll see you next time don't forget to hit the sub button and go make this recipe, okay? Go make it. it it's good. It is amazing. Mm. Mm, mm, mm.